first students we now start with ohm's law from drift velocity now before getting on to ohm's law from drift velocity we need to just recapitulate the value of drift velocity is given by i n e by a so that was our drift velocity and from here we have to get on to the ohm's law which is basically a relation as the current flows in a conductor the relation between the current the resistance and the voltage applied across it so that is fundamentally the relation that we are trying to get now say for example we have an electron in electric field of e placed in electric field of e so i hope you understand it was from coulomb's force that we got that the force is equal to q into e so when we apply this force on an electron we get the value of small e into capital e so that is the force on the electron that we have right now when it is placed in an electric field of e the force is small e into capital e and we have drift velocity which is i divided by nea now let us move on further and see how we can get the ohms law from drift velocity so once we have the force as small e into capital e we can argue that from newton's second law if a uh, force is acting on a particle then it is bound to accelerate so the force is now mass into acceleration so we have the force e into a and the second equation that the force is equal to mass into acceleration so with one and two what we have is small e into capital e which is m into a now this a is nothing but velocity through time the velocity dear students is the drift velocity here which we have already calculated and the time is the time interval between two successive collisions between two electrons and is called the relaxation time and is given by tau so this time you have to remember the name of the time is relaxation time and it means the time interval between two collisions of electron so now if i apply the value of e if i apply the value of capital e which is v by l if i apply the value of drift velocity which we have already deduced then i get this kind of equation now if i segregate v and i what i have for v is i into this kind of a thing which states that ml n e square a tau you see this is a constant whose tendency is to oppose current and we name this whole constant as resistance now it is very important to learn that why this constant was called resistance it was called resistance because the tendency of the constant is to oppose current so dear students we now come at the end of the law which is v equal to ir so really let us recapitulate once more how we come to the law so it is recapitulate once more how we come to the law that gives us the equation of mass into acceleration which is v into capital e and then we get from the mass velocity by time tau and then e as v by l and then we replace the value of i n e a tau which is equal to e v by l and then we write for v so what is v it is i ml n e square a tau so this whole thing is now known as r and we write v equal to ir so we can draw the v and i and find a straight line here which suggests that the linear relation between v and i so whenever you have a relation between v and i linear we say that it is ohmic that's all dear students this is how we derive the ohms law from drift velocity thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net